What comes to mind when you think about animated news? 采用球杆猛敲车子，五只转头查看，一分神就发生。Reenactments aside, animation can enrich breaking news coverage. Swiss authorities have begun a probe into the country's deadliest bus crash in four decades. After 28 outside a marathon sports store near the finishing line, water platform is built beneath the hull. Watertight boxes will be fixed to one side. Explain complicated processes. Volcanic ash is comprised of pulverized rock and glass. The highly abrasive particles can erode many parts of a modern. With metal-on-metal metal hip replacements, the debris may lead to harmful metal levels in the blood. And futuristic concepts. Evacuated tube transport uses airless vacuum tubes, which move faster and uses less energy to travel between destinations. The temperature-responsive road paint shows ice crystal patterns when temperatures fall below zero, to warn drivers of slippery roads. And bring big stories to life where cameras were not present. At the shots while on his stumps because he felt vulnerable. But police claim Pistorius fired the shots from a higher position after putting on his prosthetic legs, aiming deliberately at someone on the toilet. Watch how animation could have enhanced coverage of this past news story. Shizad Tanweer detonated his device on a Circle Line train between Liverpool Street and Aldgate. The explosion at the rear of the train's second carriage killed seven people. The second suicide bomb exploded on the 3:11 train traveling south from King's Cross to Russell Square. 26 people were killed when bomber Jermaine Lindsay set off his bomb near the second set of double doors of the first carriage. Mohammed Sadiqe Khan set off his bomb on a Circle Line train as it was leaving Edgware Road Station. The bomb, located in the second carriage, killed six people. Almost one hour later, Hasib Hussein detonated his bomb on the upper level of a number 30 bus as it travelled through Tavistock Square. The force of the explosion tore the bus apart, killing 13 people. Animation is fast becoming the medium for news storytelling. Isn't it time to get up to speed?